hell? It didn't even fit. Hi folks, welcome to the 12th episode of Short Track Racer. Now a couple weeks ago, Stafford Motor Speedway and Doug Kobe, my fellow competitor, decided that they were going to hold a bidding competition. Anybody who wanted was able to bid on this specific piece. It's an airbrushed hood of Doug Kobe's modified tour car. And the proceeds from the bid winner would go towards ovarian cancer research. So we have our crew member Dave. Dave is a very generous guy. He's a big part of our race team. And he was very determined that he was going to get the winning bid for this hood. And he was the winning bidder under the name of Fans of Short Track Racer. As you can see, the hood is now in our possession. I just don't know what we're going to do with it yet. We've had a few crappy weeks. It all started out with some tire issues, so we changed our entire strategy around. Getting tired of dismounting these. At the same time, we've been dealing with the changes in the track surface. You see, Stafford Speedway is notorious for being difficult to get a grasp on the car handling and setup. The track surface can completely alter the handling of these cars. It changes from day to night, it changes throughout the season, it changes whenever the weather patterns are different, which can make it pretty difficult with our crazy New England weather. We also found out that we had a wrecked steering rack in last week's race. The steering rack that we usually run took it all apart. Found out that this pinion gear, well, not pretty. Chip teeth right here on the gear. So yeah, that wasn't helping things. Anyways, it's been a little bit of a struggle, and I'm not making excuses, because as I've said before, excuses are for bitches. But I'm just making explanations, I guess. So throughout the past few weeks, we've been trying to do some different things just so we keep back on track. Either way, our issues have been killing us in points. We went from the lead to 10th in only three weeks. So we gotta get shit figured out and we gotta stop spending so much time in the infield. My crew's been breaking my balls because I spent so much time in the infield grass the last few races. I guess I left a little early last night. Nice guys, huh? Real nice. It'll be interesting to see how he approaches the early laps of this race. When he goes for the lead. Green flag, green, green, green. green, green. Outside. 
Brakes, brakes, brakes. Another rough night. Got wrecked up. Luckily, I have a great crew. We were able to get back out there, make a couple laps up, gain a couple spots so we didn't lose so many points. But we got business to take care of. Kate, you home from the track yet? All right, don't go to bed. So, our friend Doug Kobe wrecked us tonight, so I have a little bit of uh, Doug Kobe memorabilia we're going to have to take care of. All right, we got the hood right. All right, set the hood down. This is a good spot. Farewell, Doug Kobe hood. <laughs> You're a naughty boy. <laughs> With your Crocs. Mm, you naughty. Oh.